<laughs> hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Shree Bad. Whew. I need you to watch a video that I did called When the Guru Stumbles and Falls. Okay? We got an update on that. Apparently, Goku has cheated on his wife. Brought the other woman in the house. And the woman was disrespectful as all hell. Okay. It just so happens that this woman is a yoga teacher. All right? I want y'all to be enlightened on certain things. All right? Just a few. I don't think I'm going to expand way too much because everything else I'm going to tell you is based on common sense. Okay? But it's going to play in the, the video that I just did. First of all, a yogi is a male who is adept at yoga. A yogini is a female who is adept in yoga. In the Indian traditional languages, going back to Sanskrit, which comes from the Devanagari alphabet. Most male terms or names or nouns will have an A or a U at the end of their name. Shiva, Brahma, Vishnu, Indra, Most female names, terms, would have an I or an E at the end. Or Ni at the end. Yogi Ni, Swami Ni, Bhairavi. The male aspect of my name is Bhairava. Another name for Shiva is Rudra. And the female aspect would be Rudrani. Are you D R A N I? When a female becomes a Swami, she becomes a Swami Ni. The Saraswati order of monks, of sannyas, more specifically, the direct lineage of my Gurudev. And his teacher, Swami Shivananda, decided that women who became Swamis were Swamis. They did not need to be Swaminis. Because a Swami is a master of the Shiva and the Shakti. And Swamini made it seem as if they had more power over the Shakti than the Shiv. No. Equal. Balance. Hey, yeah. A master of yoga is called a yogi raj. A yogi raja. A yogi raj rini. That's a master of yoga. Raj means royal. Raja, like raja yoga. Yeah. So the term for this young lady would be Hogini, not Hogi, okay? Hogini. Goku would be the Hogi, okay? He the Hogi. Get that right. And I want y'all to know that yoga don't teach this home wrecker shit, okay? Yoga don't teach none of this shit, all right? That home wrecker shit. That's that ego. But let's go back to Japa Yoga, Japa Yoga, Japa Yoga. 
This woman wanted a connection. She didn't give a goddamn how she got it. Okay? And her ego allowed her to justify all kinds of bullshit to make sure that her actions were justified and right. Repeated it like a mantra. See where how it's important where the mantra comes from? Because when you keep repeating that mantra, that lie, that bullshit, you know that shit ain't pure, that shit ain't true. It can sound true. But the universe applies the karma. And karma is not based on your truth. Karma ain't based on my truth. You see, the prana, the universe, the most high, whatever you want to call it, the primordial, the pure, comes from the pure truth. Karma is the purest form of ethics and justice because it knows the truth. So you can justify whatever you want. That don't mean it's right. That don't make it so. And karma going to show your ass what that is. Now, when it comes to relationships and a woman decides to jump in on another woman's man, okay? Well, a woman should do is be more humble with that shit. Because me as a woman, I tell you this, any man that cheated on me with a next woman... I never, and I found out, I never got mad at that woman. Unless. I'll tell you why I never got mad at a woman if I found out, you know, my man was cheating on me with some chick. I'm not fucking that woman. I ain't got nothing to do with that woman. That man could have told that woman anything. That man could have told that woman I'm his sister. She not supposed to know no better. So what I got to argue with her for, I'm going to argue with that man. He going to get it. She ain't going to get it. Just break out, ho. He going to get it. Because he's the real ho. He's the problem. Not you. Not yet. So my unless comes in. If that woman decided to be disrespectful to me, knowing who I am now. Excuse me. And or. If I knew that woman and that woman knows that I'm with this man and that woman knows how strong me and this man are and you still want to wreck that relationship. Oh, no. Now I got to bust your ass because not only did you disrespect our family, now you disrespecting me personally. Oh, no. You would get your ass bust now. How many women got a barracuda as a friend? You can't bring not even your father around this woman, much less your man. Because she want to jump in and out. Da, 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 da. You see, that's that's their mantra. That's what they dealing with. And karma got them. So yoga don't do that home record shit. Yoga don't do a lot of shit. Unfortunately for yoga, yoga meets you where you are. Okay. So that don't mean you're going to get all the yogi gems right away. Remember, in my last video, I was reading things to you from eight years ago. And I'm only getting it now. This is why time leads to forgiveness. Not forgetfulness. Forgiveness. I ain't got to forgive Goku. I ain't got to forgive the hoe that disrespected his wife. I don't have to forgive his wife, but I want his wife to forgive herself. Ain't nothing wrong with you, girl. Nothing. You just got to operate from a different mantra. You got to approach the obstacles differently. And the obstacle obviously ain't the man, right? The obstacle is what's inside of you. That's choosing these type of men. What's inside of you that is not satisfied with who you have chosen or the struggles that you face. 
because you taking it upon yourself. Why do I attract these kinds of men in my life? That's normal, but you got to change the approach to the obstacle because now you know what the obstacle is. Obstacle ain't him. Fuck him. Get another one, girl, if you want to. Or don't get none. Whatever it is that you see from these men inside of yourself, that's the obstacle you deal with. Love yourself more. Treat yourself like you would want this man to treat you. And then the right man for you will come. And if he don't come, so what? What you have now gained will be greater and more powerful and priceless. No man can buy it. No man can take it. All they will have to do is enjoy it. Whether they enjoy it from afar, or they enjoy it from near, girl. Don't even worry about that woman. You use your inner Shakti. You build up your inner Shakti. Because clearly, her Shakti got something else going on. You keep moving forward, homegirl. And that goes to all women in these type of situations. And we all do it as human beings. We get faced with a situation. Man, woman, child. We all look inside ourselves like, what's wrong with me? Why do I keep going through these things? What's so wrong with me? When you do that, what yoga allows you to do through using your breath or meditating or whatever it is you need to do to get to that meditative state where you practice that ajapa japa or the flip side of it, which is called mauna. I'll talk about that another time. Instead of that agni going out, out, out. Remember the anger, the rage, the da, the da. When you can calm that down, you transform that. Figure it out inside of you instead of beating yourself up, right? Or shutting down to the point where you don't even solve that problem. Because the first answer to your question is, ain't nothing wrong with you. Nothing's wrong with you. Why do you keep attracting these type of people? Because of a wrong experience or, or a situation that puts you in a space where you feel like you're struggling or you're in the wrong or you're wrong. And you have to change that scar. You have to change that behavioral pattern inside of yourself. But you have to provide the space for you to do that. Or you will overheat. Or you will short circuit. Or you will shut down and allow the same thing to happen again and again and again. Because the universe is like, hey, I'm trying to show you the problem. You keep ignoring me. You asking the right question, but you're not keeping yourself quiet for long enough to get the answer. What mantra are you repeating to yourself that does not serve you anymore? That is allowing you to do fuck shit all the time. And then you get mad when the fuck shit comes back. Why is this happening to me? What are you doing to perpetuate this situation? And let's get this together. I'm not talking about rape. I'm not talking about molestation. I'm not talking about crimes of force. I'm talking about them. Crimes of force come when you're a child and you can't make a decision for yourself. You can't fight back. You don't know how. Those are crimes of force. I ain't talking about them shits. You ain't put that on yourself. You ain't do that to yourself. And don't worry about your past life karma that might have put you in this situation. Fuck all that. Live in the present moment. That's the shit that'll set your ass back. I ain't talking about that. Somebody cheating on you is not exactly a crime of force. Because you ain't forced that man to cheat. And that man did not force himself to cheat. He decided to go do it. And you can justify, well, well, the universe put this piece of pussy in my lap. You know, I just breathed in and breathed out and here she fell. Nah, motherfucker. Nah, B. You chose that shit. And now you have to choose the karma or the consequences that come with it. Don't be mad. 
you involved in drama, you involved in fuck shit. Sometimes you just got to sit back and be like, damn, what the fuck did I do? Oh, fuck, I did all that. How come I allowed this motherfucker? Oh, this is what I did. Acknowledgement, folks. Acknowledgement. I'd have had more respect for the whole guinea if she was like, you know what? I was wrong. I'm sorry. I should never have disrespected you because karma tells us we don't want that to happen to us. Do unto others as they do unto you. If this woman is so easily uh, powerful or, or, or she could easily disrespect your family, how easy is it going to be for her to disrespect you? Let me repeat that so I don't be on some tongue twister business. Let me take a deep breath in and deep breath out. If this woman can disrespect your family so easily and so quickly and so carefree, what makes you think that she won't disrespect you so easily, so cost just so you know beautifully, without any remorse. I used to be queen cheater boy. My father was a cheater, and my mother used to tell me always have a backup plan. But I realized one thing. My mother never cheated on my father. Even after we left his ass, she didn't cheat on him. Even after he died, she never been with anyone else. See, my mom was the flip side. She became bitter. She ain't want nobody else. She ain't want to go through that thing again. Ever again. She'd rather be by herself. She got me, she good. And she was with that dude for 30 years, putting up with that shit. There was a certain point in time in my life where I said to myself, how come I don't have somebody consistent, somebody I can call my husband? Mind you, I, I was engaged a couple times to be married. Why do I always end up to be the friend? Why does a man always end up saying to me, yo, I'm going to marry this other chick, but I love you. Why do I always pick these people? When my father was married to my mother for 30 some years. She never divorced him, even after we left. Never. And I said to myself, if you keep putting all this energy in different people, because my thing was this, if I'm with you and there's something that you ain't doing for me, I'm going to go get it from somebody else. You can keep doing what you do, but then this person is for this, right? And then when you stop doing something and they don't do it, let me go get another one. Men think like this too. Oh, this one's giving me money. So here we go. And that one's doing that. Okay. And this one's doing this. Okay. This one's got a purpose too. That's too draining, y'all. How could I have a, a, a solid foundation? Where's my Shiva? If I'm just putting my Shakti all over the damn place. If I want a specific type of relationship, why the hell am I cheating? It's just easier to leave somebody. If I don't want to be with you no more, I ain't going to be with you no more. I ain't got to cheat. I ain't got to emotionally cheat or physically cheat. None of that shit. I'm just be the fuck out. And I got male friends. Don't get it twisted. But they're not going to disrespect my relationship. And I'm not going to disrespect theirs. And that depends on each and every person, right? That's an individual thing, which is why the ego becomes a problem. So I just don't cheat. And if you cheat on me, I'm out. Where am I going? Why am I staying? Oh, you're not going to cheat on me no more? Don't cheat on yourself for a little while. I'll be back. 
But guess what? I might sound like a hypocrite. <laughs> because I've been with my dude for 20 years, over 20 years now. We've broken up so many times. We've taken two-year breaks like three times. Yeah, we've been through it. I cheated on him. He cheated on me. And that, 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 that. But we still here. Because sometimes that person might be the right person. They just ain't grow up yet. They ain't moved to your level yet. You know what I'm saying? The question is, are you going to wait for them? You might not. And that's okay too. If you leave it in the universe's hands, you look like a fool because the universe might make you go right back to that cat. Not right away. And I could say that now, because back then he and I was not in a monogamous relationship. We had an open relationship. He fucked with whoever he deal with. I, I deal with whoever I deal with. And God is good because we ain't trouble each other that way. We've been together with nobody else for years. And the only reason why we have been together and I believe that he ain't cheating on me and he knows I'm not cheating on him is because I decided in myself I don't want to cheat. I don't care who I'm with. And he decided within himself that he's not going to cheat. He don't care who he with. The mantra is for me, not for him. His mantra is for him, not for me. So the universe said, all right, y'all don't want to cheat on me. It don't matter who you with, all right, boom, get your asses back together. Don't you know God is funny as hell? God is one of the funniest people or funniest beings. The hell you get comedy from? Irony, sarcasm. God did that. God. Universe, most high, goddess, whatever. <laughs> well, that's it and all for me about this situation here, you know. When my friends go through they fuck shit with their significant others and they want to cheat and they cheated already and they did this and they did that. I'm at the age now where I tell them, look, you want to do whatever makes you happy, okay? But you need to understand that when certain consequences come and you left in certain situations and you feel like nobody's there or nobody's going to understand, nobody's going to help you, you have to recognize what you have done in this situation. Because yes, unfortunately for us as human beings, we make individual decisions not realizing that these in individual decisions can affect other individuals. And as long as we have a connection to the universe, we're going to be connected to everybody's individual feeling. And you will have to face the consequences of whatever happens, unintentional or intentional. And most people can't do that. They can't handle their karma. They don't have the hindsight and the foresight to be like, yo, if I do this, what can my karma be? The worst thing that could happen is X, Y, Z. Does it make sense to do it? Because a lot of times if you approached it that way, you'd be like, you know what? It don't make no sense to do that shit, man. I ain't got no energy for that bullshit. Because I guarantee you, I, I don't need to cheat. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no time. And I damn sure ain't got no poom poom energy, Okay. And when I say poom poom energy, I mean physical poom poom energy and emotional poom poom energy. Because a lot of these cats I hear is full of fuckery anyway. Why I want to attract that? Are you crazy? Just for some ding a -ling, please. Man, listen. ding -a -ling is a dime a dozen. You heard? This is the unspoken truth, man. Y'all got a saying that pussy ain't got no face, right? You can say that all day, but I guarantee you for a woman, a dick come a dime a dozen. It ain't worth nothing but a penny. I don't give a damn how ugly a woman is, how fat she is, how stink she is. She got breasts. 
and a piece of real poom poom with uterus and ovaries and shit. All she got to do is fold her hands like I dream of Jeannie, wiggle her nose and blink three times. And I guarantee you by the time she open up her eyes, it'll be four men waving their dinglings around. Hey, we heard you calling. It ain't hard for women to get any piece of ding a ling And yes, you can sit here and tell me, oh, there's not enough men. That's why they got to share our oh, bullshit. Come on, women. There's always a respectful way to do things. And sometimes the most respectful way is to not damn do it. You grown now. You know better. And you a yoga teacher. You know double better, bitch. So back to, back to the moral of the story. Yoga don't do the fuck shit you do. Your ego do it. So don't blame yoga for none of this shit. You heard? Okay? Yoga don't do it. Don't blame yoga. Okay? This hoe is a hoe. And that's it. You can call her hoagini if you want to. That's nice and funny. But don't blame yoga for this shit. All right? That's the moral of the story. Don't blame the teachings. Blame the teacher. Fuck go cuckoo. Okay? I said it. Bye-bye.